My name is Devin, and today I'm showing off a demo for taking sensor data from my Arduino, sending it into Unity over Bluetooth using an asset that I'll link below, and using that data to first control game objects in a simple way, and then also to be able to graph that data at the end. This started off as me exploring telemedicine devices and if there's ways to take sensor data as a patient, be able to stream it to your doctor. But I think this also can make for pretty cool custom controllers uh, into Unity as a DIY way. Um, I'm really interested in unique player engagement in games and customizing a controller is a really awesome way to do that. You can break the mold of standard joysticks, keyboards, and mice. So I'm just rotating a gyroscope on my Arduino, up 180 degrees and back down to zero. These spheres each are taking you know, the, the eight most recent data points in a list of what's coming from the Bluetooth and just using that to control the Y coordinate. So we've gone up and down a couple of times. I'll do a little slower one on the way down. This is just to make kind of an easier, a, a, a nice visual. When I hit done, I'm going to graph. So you can see this was the start of the video where I wasn't moving it and a nice little sinusoid going from 180 to 45. Um, the graph here is actually uh, rendered in script, which was uh, nice. I don't like to deal with the exact layout of the UI in the editor. I'd rather place it um, pr procedurally. Uh, so you can see the time here based on the total time, essentially taking a half, three quarters, and a quarter. Um, and the rotation in degrees, that's always kind of the same, but the tick marks being placed evenly in script was a nice feature. Um, I think in another next iteration, I'm going to do this via lines. Right now, these are 2D sprites. And to better connect and get a little more of a visual, a more visually pleasing. It looks like we had a little glitch here where we missed the jump. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to playing around with this more and kind of shifting gears towards custom controllers and see what interesting player interactions we can get uh, with an Arduino as our input.